a t a m i Onsen, Walking and Eating, 10 Recommended Restaurants. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Samurai Junjiro, born and raised in Japan. In this video, we'll walk and eat in g Atami Onsen. We'll introduce 10 restaurants, including famous traditional restaurants and restaurants with long lines. We'll also introduce a gorgeous seafood dish at the end. Now, let's get started. This time, we are going to Atami City, Shizuoka Prefecture. We arrived at Atami Station. Atami Station is accessible from Tokyo by bullet train. It takes about 45 minutes from Tokyo Station by bullet train. Before we start walking and eating, let me briefly introduce the city of Atami. Atami is a city located by the sea and has an excellent variety of seafood restaurants. There are more than 500 hot springs, and it is one of the most famous hot spring resorts in Japan. There's also a hot spring for food in front of the station, which is crowded with many tourists. Then, let's start eating and walking around. After walking for about one minute out of Atami Station, we arrived at our destination for this visit. Here we are. This is the Atami Shopping Street, we'll introduce to you. There are two main shopping streets side by side with nearly 100 stores. Some of the stores have been around since 1930, so you can feel the history of the area. It's a lively shopping street crowded with many tourists. First of all, we would like to introduce you to Tokuzo Burger Stand. This hamburger store was opened in 2021 by a seafood restaurant that has been in business for 93 years. Their seafood burgers are very popular. This time, we'll try this hamburger, which is particularly recommended. This is a hamburger containing fried scallops. There are three large and six scallops in it. They are fried to order, so they are hot and crispy. There are two kinds of sauce on the scallops, which is sweet sauce and tartar sauce. I like the sweetness of the scallops and the plump texture. Next, we'll introduce you to this store, Atami Pudding. It is the most famous pudding specialty store in Atami. They have been very popular since they opened in 2017, and there's a waiting line every day. There are many different flavors, but this time we'll go with this pudding. This is the most popular caramel pudding. It comes in a cute milk bottle. It has a rich taste of eggs and milk. The texture is smooth and melts in your mouth. It is delicious as it is, but let's pour caramel on it. The bitter taste and the slight sweetness will make it taste more mature. There's also strawberry and green tea flavors, so be sure to try them to compare. The next place we'll introduce is located in a building directly connected to Atami Station. It is Odawara Kisho. This restaurant specializes in fried jack mackerel, but what we would like to introduce this time is this fried food. This is a Japanese minced meat cutlet. It is made from Ashigara beef, which is a brand name beef produced in Kanagawa Prefecture. The batter is coarse, so it has a zesty texture. In addition to beef, there's also burdock root. The natural sweetness and texture of the burdock is a nice accent. It is a healthy Japanese minced meat cutlet. Next, we'll introduce you to this store. Atami Butter Inn. It's a store specializing in Japanese sweets operated by a store founded in 1871. We'll eat this bread, which is immediately sold out. This butter ampan is filled with red bean paste and butter. 
It is the most popular bread in the store. The puffy bread is filled with buttercream and uncle. The uncle is just right, not too sweet. The butter is creamy and melts in your mouth. It's a bread that reminds me of Japan. Next, we'll introduce this store, Atami Milk Cheese. This store specializes in sweets made with milk and cheese, operated by Atami Pudding, which was introduced earlier. There are a variety of sweets available, but this is the one we'll introduce here. It is wrapped in Japanese paper and placed in a bamboo basket, making it a popular souvenir. Let's take a look inside. It's a round-shaped, rare cheesecake inside. It tastes refreshing because lemon and salt have added to it. Underneath there is a sauce made with milk. It's creamy and melts in your mouth. The vanilla bean flavor is a nice touch. Next, we'll introduce you to this store, Kameyama Shachu. This store specializes in onsen manju, hot spring buns. The onsen manju is for souvenirs, but this time, we'll eat this freshly steamed onsen manju. The three small manjus in a row look so cute. The dough has brown sugar in it, which gives it a sweet taste. There's a sweet bean paste inside. It tastes sweet and goes well with warm green tea. They are on skewers, so they are perfect for eating while walking around. Next, we introduce you to this store, Strawberry Bonbon Berry. It's a strawberry sweet specialty store that was established in 2019. There are a wide variety of sweets for souvenirs and for eating and walking around. What we'll introduce here is soft ice cream. It's a lovely looking sweet with strawberries on top. Plenty of strawberries are used for soft ice cream. The strawberries are sweet with a slight sourness. The strawberry juice fills my mouth. The soft ice cream is sweetened with milk. The crunchy texture of the strawberry crunch made of sugar is a nice addition. Next, we'll introduce you to this restaurant, Maruten. This store is run by a fish and meat company established in 1989. The shop is crowded with many customers every day. There are many different kinds available, but this time we'll introduce a fish paste. This is a takobo made by deep fried on skewer of fish paste with octopus in it. It's the most popular food on the menu. There's plenty of chopped octopus inside, which gives it a plump texture. It also has ginger in it, which gives it a fresh flavor. The size is also big enough to be satisfying. Next, we'll introduce Atami Square Shoe Cream. It is a store specializing in cream puffs that opened in 2019. They use local resources and each one is made by hand. This time, we'll have this classic cream puff. It is a square cream puff covered with powdered sugar. The chocolate chips on top of it and looks pretty too. The texture is a little stiff but moist. The inside is filled with plenty of custard. It has a rich egg taste and the sweetness of milk. The cream puffs are not too sweet and have a smooth and mellow taste. Lastly, we'll introduce you to this restaurant, Osakana Donya. It's a restaurant specializing in seafood rice bowls opened in 2020 by a popular seafood restaurant where customers make a waiting line. This time, we are having this dish which is available only for takeout. This is a kaisen teppemaki. It is colorful and beautiful with tuna, salmon, sea bream, salmon roe on it. Cucumber and egg are also included in the rice so you can taste various textures. 
Let's eat it with soy sauce. The fish is fresh and the taste is rich without any peculiarities. Salmon roll is a great addition. It's a luxurious seafood roll that you wouldn't think it was a takeout. If there's a restaurant you'd like me to introduce, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe to my channel too. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next video.